good morning. You're watching Senior Notebook on WENY. Good morning, I'm Lisa Rostasi with Senior Notebook, and I'm so delighted to be here with Ann Roberts from Bompas House. As you know, we've done several interviews about Bompas House, and now comes the real exciting part because they're getting ready to fully use the facility and open it to the public. So welcome, Ann. Thank you. Thank you. And Lisa. it is a really exciting time, isn't it? It is. It yeah. is an exciting time for Bompas House, for yes. sure. Yes. So, give us a little history of Bompas House in case someone has missed our other interviews. So, Bompas House, um, the idea came about after the death of Jim Dugan. Um, Jim, uh, nicknamed Bompa by his grandchildren, um, experienced uh, his end of life in a, in a rough way. It was a, a difficult experience for the family, and the family wanted to change that for others in our community and create um, a comfortable place for people in their final stages to spend their time in the comforts of a home. Mm. So they studied some of the models that um, are out there in New York State and decided that the comfort care home is what they wanted here in the southern tier for this tri-county area. Wonderful. And having been there, I can tell you it is just beautiful. Just beautiful. There's a very good feel in the mm -hmm. house, and, yes. and many comment on it when you're there. Yes, absolutely. So, what does it mean now that it's officially opening? What What is that like for the team, for you? Well, it was a long trip the past three plus years, mm -hmm. um, becoming the 501c3, um, and the fundraising that had to be done and the um, plans that were made for house and um, and then the renovations that were made for the final choice of house um, the fundraising that had to be done there was a lot that was done um, in the past three years a lot of hard work mm -hmm. so to see this historic house that they finally chose be brought back to life um, is really heartwarming for the family mm -hmm. and for everyone involved. So it's very exciting to be close to the point where we can um, share this with the community that supported it. Mm -hmm. So Yeah. Tell us again where it's located. So 170 East 1st Street is where the house is located. Mm -hmm. And there's a nice big sign. Yes. You can't miss it. Yes. And it's a nice location for the counties that we serve. Stuben, mm -hmm. Shimon, and Schuyler mm -hmm. can all access it fairly easily. Right, yeah. right. And so what has it really taken to get here? I mean, I'm thinking of all the volunteers and the fundraisers and the, the people who've donated. And I mean, it's amazing. It's an amazing effort. It is a community effort. Mm -hmm. um, there were grants written and but the community support that's been there um, the fundraising events that people have participated in the donations that just came from everywhere in kind donations of of things that we needed for the home has been so generous um, and taking a tour of the house you just hear um, repeated stories of the donations that have been made um, so it's a community um, effort that's going to serve a community, the same community. So. Right. I think that's why the energy is so good there, because so much good uh, energy went into creating it, and so many good people that really could see the vision. True. True. Right. The yeah. Dugan family is very um, kind, very um, driven, mm -hmm. very motivated, and that's how that's how it happened. Yeah. What what a great legacy. Yes. What a great absolutely. legacy. So, um, obviously, you're going to have to continue to raise money um, to keep it going. Mm -hmm. um, so, what are some of the challenges with that right now? Um, the, the COVID environment has changed how we can fundraise. Mm -hmm. uh, we had to cancel our first event. We usually have three or four events a year, large events. 
and our um, first one had to be canceled because we couldn't have it in a restaurant mm -hmm. locally. Um, and eventually we decided to do that as a takeout, um, and that helped. Um, but we're changing the next event, the um, race event, and we'll talk more about that, but um, had to be looked at immediately for safety. And um, right. so we've done those things and hope that that race it should be fun. It should be a great way to fundraise. So we're looking forward to that. But our future events will also be affected okay. by how we. Yeah. Yes, as, as so many things are. Mm -hmm. So when we come back, we're going to talk about the race and how you can get involved.